Hey guys, Sequoia here from Phoenix Off Grid Solutions. Today we are going to take a look at this vinyl braided pressurized hose that you might want to use in your conversion van build. Now, my name is Sequoia. I am owner and operator of Phoenix Off Grid Solutions. I design and install off grid power systems, plumbing systems, heating and cooling systems in conversion vans, RVs, travel trailers, and other mobile custom applications. Um, and I've seen a lot of vehicles in my five years of doing this, and uh, I've seen this vinyl braided hose in a lot of those plumbing systems, especially the vehicles and RVs that have been off of an assembly line or production line, like you know something from Winnebago or something from uh, uh, Grand Design, like a reflection travel trailer. Um, and they use this stuff with PEX fittings. And I thought, wow, isn't that clever? I wonder if that holds up. So I did some research uh, and I couldn't find any vinyl braided hose like this that actually says it's for PEX fittings. It's for use with PEX fittings. Everything says hose clamps. I even called a few places. They said hose clamps is all we can recommend. But I've seen it. I've seen it in RVs and, and um, vans and I've seen it in travel trailers. So I thought, well, wouldn't that be clever to use this? I mean, imagine how fast an install could be using this stuff that's nice and flexible. Because up until now, I've been building most of my systems and hydronic heating systems and hot water systems all with PEX, PEX B, right? That's the 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 tube with the, the clamp fittings, right? There's rings and then there's these like stainless steel clamps. Um, and that's great, but it can be kind of clunky. It's pretty fast, but again, it can be kind of clunky. It's all right angles, and if things are navigating through tight spaces, especially if you're doing a retrofit, um, it can be really challenging to get this stuff um, into those spaces because you, you need a big clamp. I'll show you. Right, you need a big um, crimper like this for the rings, um, and then you need to squeeze it, which can be challenging in a tight space. There's also a, a crimper like this for the um, for the clamp rings. Um, and so yeah, getting one of these into a tight space can be really challenging. Imagine being able to just feed this through where you're going and just clamp it at the end and at the other end. That would be great. Um, and so this stuff is from RecPro. This is half inch pressurized vinyl braided hose. It's for hot and cold water. Uh, it's rated for 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's rated for 150 PSI, which is more than enough for most of the onboard systems that we see, like the 12-volt water pumps are 45, 50, 55 PSI. Um, and so one of my recent projects, I did incorporate this hose into the plumbing system. Um, I was removing a shower um, and redoing a plumbing system on a DIY ProMaster build, um, and I wanted to give this a try. Now, this stuff wasn't cheap. 10 feet, um, I got it on Amazon. I'm sure there's cheaper places uh, with just as good a quality. Um, and if I find it, I'll put it in the description. This was $40 for 10 feet of the blue and 10 feet of the red. Um, and it didn't come fast. It took like two weeks. Uh, but when I got it here, the first thing I did was try the PEX fitting. So here I'm using a brass, um, a brass tee. Uh, with one of the stainless um, clamp rings and it tightened pretty good. You can see, I don't know if you can see the hose that com is compressed under the ring and it, this is, takes a, some force to even turn this. Um, when it comes to the, the ring, the copper ring or the brass ring, you can't get this on the hose. So this is a no-go. Maybe if you force it on there, you might be able to get it, but it would be uh, time restrictive. Uh, so yes, in using this, I felt pretty confident like this, this might hold up. Um, a few days later, I had some clients come in that were actually lifelong plumbers. And I said, Hey guys, what do you think of this? And they thought, well, they were questionable. They were questionable because of the way the fitting, um, both brass and the plastic fitting fit inside of this hose. So this is a, they say it's a half inch inside diameter. Um, and when these fittings fit into this PEX B tube, you know, the little raised bits on the fitting, they're, they're rubbing on the inside of the tube, every one of them all the way around. There's a little bit of, you know, it takes a, a little bit to push that on there. 
you can't say that about this tube. It, I mean, it touches, but it's not, it's a little loosey goosey. So they thought that over time with expansion and contraction and the way that, yeah, this tube is flexible and pliable now, but what happens after a number of years? Is it going to get hard and is it going to get brittle? Um, and is it going to stay um, compressed around the fitting with the clamp ring? And I did some research online, checking out the forums of some of these production line um, RVs and travel trailers, and people are complaining about small leaks happening with this stuff on PEX rings. Um, and like I said, nobody out there is recommending um, using PEX fittings with this hose. It's all recommended to use a hose clamp, which my plumbing client friends said, you know, when it comes to hose clamps, when you tighten a hose clamp, it doesn't uniformly it doesn't uniformly or evenly tighten around the hose. And I would believe that, especially with something so small. So, and you'll see, I'm gonna include a clip at the end of this video of how I use this in a plumbing system. I basically used a hybrid PEX and nylon hose um, plumbing system. And I made sure that uh, you could get to the fittings easily uh, and you could see easily if there was a leak um, where I use this stuff. Uh, and I was really happy with how it came out. When I put it all together, there was, of course, no leaks. And it was a lot faster uh, to run this stuff rather than the PEX, especially in the location that um, I did. So I'm curious, have you ever used this in your build? And as somebody that's built over 100 custom conversion vans and vehicles um, and, and consults and coaches people on their own DIY builds, do I want to recommend this to folks? And I would say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And... I want you to make sure that when you're building or when you're using this, that you have access to where the fittings are. Don't hide your fittings. Um, don't make them in places that are really hard to get to. Keep an eye on them. Make sure that uh, if there is a leak, you can spot that. Uh, and the nice thing about this versus the PEX is that you could run this behind a whole cabinet or through a whole wall and you can be guaranteed that there's not gonna be a leak at a fitting during that run behind the wall because your fittings are somewhere else which if you're using PEX and you have to do a, a funny move there are going to be fittings and they could be hidden which doesn't always lead to a leak but it could especially if you're not experienced um hope you like this video give me a like and subscribe i'd love to see your comments in the description i'll have links to all this stuff um, i get all my plumbing fittings from supplyhouse.com uh, they're really awesome, especially if you own a business. They give you some serious discounts and deals. See you next time. Also over here, you can see I worked in, because I've been wanting to use this, I see these manufactured RVs come in, um, and they take a nylon braided hose, and they use a PIX uh, ring on there. Um, and so in this situation, uh, I use that to, like, you know, get to the shower uh, panel, which the client wanted. So now he has a place to fill and a place to take a shower um, out the back doors. Uh, and I was able to run that hose sort of as a test uh, to show how easy um, it would be. And, you know, I mean, how many right angles would I have had to make with the pecs? Maybe, you know, at least four to make it look nice. Um, plus, this is in a highly accessible area. So if they're are any leaks that develop at the fittings, it will be easy to get to.